I have to say my biggest graphical disappointment is still the crystal sword. Watch somebody else clean up. I mean, there's whole YouTube channels dedicated to watching people clean. It's kind of creepy. Um, we will be showing the palace after we get the amulet. <laughs> we have to unlock the palace first. But yeah, we will be going in there. We'll be beating... Before I get to have lunch, I get to beat um, Act 2. So... And I am a hoarder by heart, so we are going to definitely be keeping all of the various item of bobs that we can get. Ah! This is where teleport would be nice. We're not high enough level for it. We're not even high enough level for our stealth. Eh, somehow clipped it with that. So we need to put the next level into telekinesis, which I almost never use. It's a useful skill. It's a utility skill. It's good for speed running. I just don't really... You just want to see the roof? Okay. Yeah, we can look at that. The Arcane Sanctuary is glorious. Yes. I think we have looked at our reflection in that floor with every single character we've played so far. So... First unique you find is the spear. Uh, did you find the Tanner Gore Rod? Out of curiosity, I'm trying to think what the normal spear is. I think it's the Tanner Gore Rod. I might be thinking of something else. Dr. Pimple Popper. I know a lot of people who are into that. They show up on my Facebook all the time. They share it. I'm not too interested in it. It doesn't bother me. It's just I don't... I don't understand the appeal of it because the main empathy thing I have for it is I have empathy for the amount of pain the person who's getting popped has because of that. Hey, and we got a bar to Shay. Mercenary back off. Dimoak. It's the Dimoak. I mean, it's not better than what we had. It's about the same. <laughs> but it's it's unique. We gotta use it. And no, it doesn't have a special graphic because it's it's one of the like bland ones. And this is definitely the wrong way for this. We need to be going around the other edge. Cause it won't spawn right there, I don't think. The Dragon Chang, okay. Oh yeah, Tanner Gorrod is you wouldn't be able to find it this early. See, I don't use spears a whole lot, so I get them mixed up pretty easily. The only ones I use are like um, the Hone Sudan and stuff like that. Thank you, Bald. I just realized your name was Bald. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I read it after I read your comment, but yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. that. I do kind of just go for like chill sitting on the couch kind of play for streams. I find the uptight ones to be a little bit annoying, and I find the ones where they're just literally sitting on camera snacking for 90% of the stream to be annoying as well. Just got to play the game and enjoy the company of the people that are around. Are, are we going to do a... <laughs> that would be an odd one to kind of like even just plan for, but a beta... Whatchamacallit? Holy Grail? After we... Someone need, will need to remind me to do this. But before the closed beta ends, remind me to try out and see how many characters will let me create. It might be limited to 8 still. I don't know. Which would suck because that'd be 7 plus 1. 7 characters plus 1 spare. So one of each class. Ah, it's a nickname that stuck to you. It's a nickname that is smooth and shiny, so it shall stick with you forever. <laughs> I think we actually could fit the Beta Holy Grail into our stash. So Tanner Gorrod, I'm thinking, is the Lance.
And yes, we did run out of stamina for the first time in a while now. Which is kind of sad. This part of the mission has always felt way too dark for me, but it's okay. He's okay. There's our waypoint. They pulled off 11 characters. And then it said no more. Because currently we're at five characters. Would there be an item with a chant available to add holy add to the Holy Fire Paladin? Um, there's a set of gloves, Lava Gout, that can give you enchant percent chance on an attack. And then there is the lovely club that everyone keeps telling me to use. And I refuse to use it because everyone keeps telling me to use it. <laughs> I have like 14 or 15 of them. I put up a post where I had a picture of like all of them sitting in a stash. My favorite funny monster name is Ghostly Ghosts. And I have a picture of that on my um, Instagram. Because Ghostly Ghost cracks me up and I had to post it. It was one of the first things I posted on there. But it's a champion type. It's not a uh, boss type. I've also had the thing where you get two of the same name spawn in the same location. Yeah, the snake guys are okay looking. I mean, they're not overly impressive, but they're cool. I did not even know that was an emoji. I should make emojis for the uh, YouTube end of things as well. Maybe that will be our art stream next time we do an art stream. I don't know if I'm going to have energy to do an art stream today. If you guys are wondering what I do on art streams, um, Daily Draw is the channel you want to check out for that. Uh, Lava Gout gives you enchant spell on striking. Yes. You've made 14 characters. Yeah, it probably goes up to a decent number. I doubt they'll let you have like 40 or 50, which is about what I'd probably end up with. I know that sounds gross, but that's what I do whenever I have too many things to hoard in a game. Um, Yeah, that was a three socket shield. We have one uh, stashed away as well that I mean it doesn't hurt if you ever see kite shields with two sockets or three sockets in normal difficulty it doesn't hurt to buy them especially if you plan to make a lot of characters so um, it will be there will be a free open beta next weekend starting on Friday snow dog it'll be 10 a.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time um, the preload for it will be available on console as soon as this beta ends, which is Tuesday at 10 a.m. On PC, it'll be available for preload on Wednesday. And hey, Thomas, how's it going? Hope all is well. So we got some more Eld runes. That reminds me, we should probably make a malice for Mr. Happy here. Um, spooky spooks. Pretty much, yeah. Ghostly ghosts, spooky spooks. I do need to see if we have a good three socket. Uh, scythe, hopefully. But we can work with other things. Volge is fine, <clears throat> so we might go with that, especially since it's superior. Only thing better would be three socket ethereal. Don't have enough gold for that. Yes, I do. It's just not where I can get to it. And I need, I, I forget whether he can actually, he should be able to, yeah. So, there's our Ith, L, and no, you can't make the rune words in. I can't use that yet. 
Oh yeah, he's not high enough level. Derp. Um, we should be able to hire a level 15 though. Yeah, I would... Word of advice, don't pre-order stuff like this unless you really have to have access to it or you have money to burn. I don't recommend pre-ordering, like, anything. Unless it's a thing for, like, a real purpose. So we have 15 there. He's a blessed aim boy, though. And he's our only level... Oh, never mind. It, both of our level 15s are... Mm, fine, we'll go with blessed aim. Come on, Hazad, you're joining me. Da 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 da. I'll put that to good use. He should have natural regen enough to keep him alive, though. Uh, did they end up putting the cube recipes in the game? Yes. I have already made a crafted caster amulet. So. I could craft some replenishing potions. I don't really feel like it, though. Hitting create new after 20 does nothing. So 20 is the maximum amount. That's reasonable. I'd rather have 30, but that's okay. Because a 30 would let me hoard almost everything in the game. Avenger, Boazon, and Dual Throw Barb back. Hmm. Avengers are fun. They are not very efficient. So, I like Avengers. The pre-order stuff's about D3 cosmetics. Probably for most people. I need a key. For me, pre-order was access to this. Because, I mean, as most people here will tell you, Diablo 2 is kind of what this channel is about. <laughs> so, I kind of have to cover it. They, all, they look more segmented whenever they're standing up than whenever they've fallen down. That makes sense. And you'd think after watching the snakes open the door, the mercenary would learn how. He doesn't. Why is, um, what orange? Or are you talking about... I'm not sure what you're saying is orange. I mean, the torch light is orange because it's kind of a yellow hue. Cheaper than going cocaine and last longer. Tunnel snakes rule. Okay. I like, um... Yeah. Oh, the amulet? It's orange because that's crafted. That's a crafted item. It's a uh, caster recipe. It's perfect amethyst, raw rune, jewel, and a magic amulet. Yeah, the exit does blend in with the minimap now, and it kind of pisses me off. That is something they need to fix. They should make it blue or something like that. And it's really bad whenever you don't have um, the opacity set to 100. I actually had it set to about 30-something percent, which is where I like it. But this actually lets me at least see the orange doors against the red. But yeah, there's blood recipes, uh, safety recipes, and hit power, and caster. Each one's based around a different gem... Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire, and Amethyst. I can show it again in just a minute. I don't have it equipped. It's too high level for me. But it's in the uh, stash. Remind me next time we go to town and I'll show it off again. It's a not a great roll. <laughs> But I just wanted to craft it because we could. I might make some blood weapons as well if we end up with like an axe barbarian or something like that.
Just churning through things. This is the nice... And at level 19, we get our leaf, but I don't know if we're going to hit 19 before we end up beating Act 2 or not. The trident looked like it was Ether Sock. That's going to be back a little bit. I can go look at it and just make it seems like the item decay is longer as well. I know corpse decay is longer. But I don't know about the rest of them. You ever wonder what those monsters in these rooms do before you show up? Like is it break room and they're all just having the water cooler conversations? Yes, yes, oh yes, 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 that's a mm, yes. Probably. What I don't understand is why they don't all come charging whenever they hear the other ones screaming in pain and just outnumber me. Or how these guys are, like, cold immune in... Well, we're going Mace Barbarian. Because that's Sivirbs. There we go. Just safety. Just to be safe. Got him. Uh, they're not the big disappointment for me. The big disappointment for me is still the vultures. I stand by the vultures looking derpy. I have to say, I love the new look of the wraiths. I love the new look of a lot of the humanoids but the vipers are just kind of they're okay you like the butcher in Diablo 1 he is scary in Diablo 1 the first time you play and you just kind of like pop up next to him dude is scary he is that difficulty check Okay, so we're about to see the top of the palace as well. There's Sivirbs, and we were walking around with like maximum stuff on all that. But yeah, Sivirbs is a really good starter mace. Actually, we don't want to withdraw all of that. Go ahead and put... There we go. Just enough for us to keep repairs up and all that fun stuff. Are there specific advantages to each weapon type for the Barbarian? Yes. Um, is there nothing like quite the hip thrusting potions gear off corpses? Yeah, horking items is fun. Favorite boss battle? Oh, in Diablo 2? Oh, butts. I would have to say probably Diablo. I don't really have a favorite favorite. Um, it can use your personal stash gold, like this gold right here it can use, but the shared stash is separate. You also don't lose it if you die. Okay, so we got that. What else were we going to show off in here? Oh yeah, the amulet. There's the crafted amulet that we made. That was just random craft with the last character we had. <laughs> Green and red, white onions to get red ones? That would be hilarious if you could do that in real life. I'm keeping the ruby on me for if we find gem shrines. So I can actually upgrade it into a perfect ruby. I I, I actually kind of want to see Iswal, his art. But yeah, that's the crafted one that you guys asked for. Someone asked to see the roof of this place. 
Oh, that is pretty detailed. We can zoom in. They even put texture on the tiles and stuff. Interesting. It looks almost Tetrisy. Good day. Iswal is a sponge, but yeah. He's cool. But you can see we actually have the gold from our stash there. Let's see. If we got high enough level, we could actually get circlets in here and try them. When you go to the butcher the first time, told your friend to butcher. Yeah, you usually do die to him the first time. Just use a bow, run away from him, then shoot, run again. Um, there is no running in Diablo 1. <laughs> But, yeah, it is very detailed. The strategy I always used for him was to find one of those gate areas. And just lock him out. And then shoot at him. Classic toggle at roof. I actually haven't really paid too much attention to that. Watch it crash right there. There we go. It even changes the audio. I didn't notice that before. Wanted to show you to find out on your PC was faster. This method was useless. Ah! Exploiting lag. That said, the tiles inside are just as detailed, by the way. I've always wondered what the white floating stuff in here was. You know? I really don't know. So let's go ahead and we will just go... Ah, lordy. Latent, like, lag. Lag, I need to actually step back upstairs real quick, I think. And do the controller trick. I don't know for sure yet. Oh, uh, no, it's fine. It was just loading in. I may need to flash my recording now that I think about it. I've been recording for like four hours straight. The old one was detailed too, just not as detailed. Trying to really shoot out the door? Yeah. Open the door. Thank you. I clicked on it a few times. That's just Diablo 2. I do want to see. No, it's just a random thing. Okay. But now, we run through here. We'll grit the waypoint, but I'm not going to stop for anything. can only imagine if you shine a black light on that hair. Oh, God. Yeah, floaty dust would be a little bit weird in black light because it's probably not dust. It's the cocaine. Don't glorify drug use, but we can mention it. That was almost bad. Once we get into the arcane sanctuary, I actually, let's do it now. Can I go into my inventory, please? Thank you. And then back to this. You would go blind. Hi, guys. Do we have... Oh, we don't have them in here. Sweet. And yeah, I always run through that area. I'm not a huge fan of it. 